I picked up this jacket at a yard sale for five dollars. I'm gonna use it for work. It needs a few snaps. My first step is to remove these old snaps. They're held on by these two pieces of metal hooked over. I use this old punch here to punch the hooks the opposite way, try and straighten out the barb. That way I can just use my pliers and pull the snaps off. My bench top has some holes that I had drilled in there while doing other projects, and those holes make a good spot for hammering with the punch. So this method worked pretty well. I've never taken out snap, snaps before, but after I got the hang of it, it came out all right. This side was much easier. I just had to use my pliers and straighten out the barb and then pull out the snap. So because I'm part human, part pack rat, I like to hold on to material and fabric and stuff like that. This is some old Carhartt and I wanted to test out my hole punch, make sure it was the right size for fitting the snaps before I punched the hole in the jacket. I like the sound this tool makes when it cuts through the material. It's very satisfying, that click. I got this tool somewhere along the way. Um, I wasn't sure how well, how well it would work on this, but it cuts perfectly. After I cut through the material, I like to spin the handle a little bit, and that cuts any little fibers that might be left. I bought these snaps from Tandy Leather. Uh, they're size 24 and they're stainless steel. 24, this kind of like a heavy duty snap. And you can see here, they come in, each snap consists of four parts. You have the face that shows right here, and then you have the backing of it. And each side consists of two pieces. This tool here is a punch that I use to set the snaps. Basically, you punch the shaft of the snap and it mushrooms over, holding it tight to the cloth. This is called an anvil. And you fit this in the right size. This is a size 24. You push the shaft through and then you take this piece and put it on top. Then you use your punch to mushroom out the shaft. Hammering these snaps takes some time to get used to. Um, and this took me longer than I'm showing here in the video. It took me a few, quite a few hits on each one to get it set correctly. You can see right here how I'm trying to spin the snap, and since it's not spinning, that means it's tight. It's ready to go. This is my second time using the snaps, and it took a little while to figure out how to hammer them in, but it worked out very well, and the jacket snaps up, and I'm ready for the cooler weather. Thanks for watching my video.